Hi everyone. Today we will see how to upload a spacey model to the Hugging Face Model Hub. As we know that the spacey model or whether it is transformer model, it will be few hundred MB and you can't upload that model to the GitHub. So you need some other way of you know uh, uploading those models so that you can download them wherever you want. And my preferred way usually is to push that particular model to the GitHub or sorry Hugging Face Model Hub so that I can load it whenever I want. So that's we going to show. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's say we need a model. So I already have a fine-tuned NER model, which we have seen in uh, one of the previous video. So if you haven't watched how to fine-tune a custom NER model using Spacey, I would encourage you go and watch because that is one of the popular, you know, uh, video on my channel. So once you have the model, so this is the model we have trained for, you know, uh, detection of let's say medical condition and medicine. That is what we have model and this model is stored here you can see this is here this particular model now what we want to do we want to push this model so there are certain steps that we need to perform and there is a good blog post on a hugging face hub which you know gives you those steps you know how to push that particular model so one of the thing is that first of all we need to package that particular spacey pipeline or model uh, in a wheel file so that is the first step we need to do so I have already written, so we're going to use this Python spacey package command. You need to specify the, you know, location of your, you know, you can simply copy here the uh, input location, which is your model path and the output location. So I created one empty directory output so that I will put uh, that particular wheel will be put there. So let's run this thing and it will start creating that wheel file. So you could see now it started you know building package artifacts and it has created one meta file and all these things right so one of the thing we have is that if you look at our model will be having some default name here the name is default pipeline so if you have a multiple linear model and if you uh, you know have the default name what will happen all the model you push on hugging face of will be having the same name so it's always better to change that particular name for example if i go to let's say this is what my account hugging face account so if i click on my name then you will see all the models that i have and you could see we have this model called em which is english pipeline so this is the default model name will come so if you have multiple linear model and if you simply upload that file it will have this particular name but what you can do you can change the name of that particular model so that you can have any other different name right so that's what we will do else it will conflict with the other so let's make it something different so you know i will make it as a yt pipeline this particular name and so we got this wheel uh, wheel package with the default name we don't want that particular name so since uh, i have now this output directory which has something I can delete this directory using this particular command because uh, other way you can't delete if it has you know something you can't delete so now it again became empty so let's do one thing since now we have changed the name and we want to again create that particular field file make sure you remember this step else uh, you might you know uh, overwrite your existing file so it says that the output directory doesn't exist here because we deleted it right so now that directory is not there let's create this folder let's give it name output okay let's run this command again okay again the artifacts uh, creation started it created the meta file but now you see it took the whatever the name we have given which is you know yt pipeline so that we can differentiate uh, among the other NER models that we have so let's see what is the next step once this get create so you can see here first we need to create the package we are also going to use a library which is spacey hugging face hub library so if you look at this library this is the library especially you know that allows us to push spacey models to the hugging face hub and you can simply install those using you know pip install that particular thing so we're gonna do that thing once this artifacts get created so the next statement we have is actually that pip install spacey hugging face hub so 
so let it finish first and then we'll see okay it got finished and you could see our build file where it is it is inside our pipeline so we see the output here is the output then we have this thing yt pipeline what is this english yt and inside that there is a distribution or dist and here we have our build file this is the address we want okay so we're going to we're going to need this particular address but before that let's install our hugging face that spacey hugging face hub library because that was what we're going to uh, require now once we you know, install this particular library we can use this hugging face cli login because since we want to push there we need to authenticate ourselves so we can use the login once you clear you know do this login whether you do it command line whether you do it here you will see there will be one input holder will come right where you can paste your token so if you go to again your account and you can click on settings and you will be having an access token so if you don't have any access token you can create let's say new token here and maybe i can give it name as a spacey you know yt something like that so that i can remember and read and write whether you can only download from here or you can also upload so let's say because we are uploading let's take a write permission and we have our token here let's copy that token and we will put that token here and i will press enter now the login is successful right so now since we have login successful we have also installed the spacey hugging space hub we can import a push function from that particular library and that push require the name of our or i would say the path of our file so let me copy the path of our file and let's push it now it is saying pushing to a repository this is the name we have given yt pipeline it's going to prepare this thing en something right so now it started pushing and it has also created some files there so we can go and check so currently it's easy we don't have let's refresh it here and you see just updated less than minute ago it is still uploading we have our repo got created here so you can think of when you upload a file or a model here one repo gets created so right if you click on this thing you can see this model card got created all the information from our model you can see here the name of the model what we have then you can also get some when i train that particular model what are those metrics that you can see here and maybe what other information you can see yeah i guess we can try our model here also once that model gets upload and you can see all the files and versions here so yeah i think it got uploaded let's check our notebook yes it has uploaded once it uploaded successfully you will also get a url that also you can click so let's click on that url we will end up here the same place right this is the place and you will also get an you know a a command that how can you install now your model so this is like once you upload your model to hugging face up you can use that model just like a pip install that is what makes it easy so you can simply use this pip install and load that particular model but let's go to that uh, you know hugging face hub here is the model let's try to run our model there so let me copy our example where it is yeah let me close this part and let's copy this example okay paste it here now model is loading and we should see a similar kind of you know uh, output because this is the same model that we just tested in a notebook right so we should see that thing here taking some time because uh, it's it's loading that particular model okay till it is loading maybe we can go to the notebook and do the next step right so we know that we have got now one command to uh, you know pip install so let's copy that command and install our model let me you know do this thing again we have to put it as a command so let's run that thing so it start installing let's see whether that thing is finished no it is still loading so anyway we started you know now you see it is downloading that particular model from hugging face hub that's what this pip install download command is uh, doing 
once it is downloaded we can use that model just like we have a model locally and the name of the model will be we know that we can see what is the name of our model this is the name of the model using this name we can simply load that particular thing not sure why it is taking too much time okay it is almost uh, downloading now yeah here also you could see the name of our model which is our username and this is the model so let me copy that name because we need to uh, you know uh, load that particular model so let me clear this output and give that name here it is enyp pipeline and just load it okay it is loaded let's use that same name to do some prediction here again now you see we got a model now this particular model we have actually downloaded from the hugging face hub and you see it is working similarly yeah now you could see here also you can see that output so this is the benefit like you want to share let's say your model with the other people or your team you can simply upload that model here people can even taste they can download and all this thing right but what if you want to make it private right because you want to use it like your own repository so that you can deploy so you can also have a private model also so you can go to the let's say setting and you can make this model private so if i click on now see it has become now private model so let's download this model again now down here let's download it I will say it is not downloading because it is asking me now authentication detail because now it's a private model not every not anyone can download right so let me put my you know uh, username password here so I put my username let me put some password also now when I authenticated myself that is the time it is now getting downloaded so this is what you need to decide whether you want a private model or a public model again it will take some uh, time to uh, download that thing and once it is downloaded we will be having the same way right so we can test the same way i hope you uh, you find this video useful just to you know what we did we had one local model or uh, the custom linear model that we have already trained and as i mentioned you we already have a video that how to build a custom linear model and that is the same model i'm currently using right once you have that model we can create a will file using this particular command and once we have that will file we need to install this spacey hugging face hub library then you can use cli login where you have to put your token that token you can get if you click on settings here and if you go to access token you can have token if you don't have you can create that token and eventually once you authenticate yourself you can simply import that model that particular function uh, sorry a spacey hugging face up function and then you push that model but while pushing you need to make sure you are giving actually the path of the will file and once this particular thing finishes you will get a url where your model is uploaded and you will also get a command that how can you install that model anywhere you want to install and as i showed you you can try that model there itself right if you where is that url yeah so if you go there you get all the details of your model and you can even even try your model here right you can go to the setting make it public private and if you are a private model you when you try to download it you have to authenticate yourself okay i hope you found this video useful if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe i create similar natural language processing related videos thank you